guys today I'm going to be showing you how to do this look um, it is inspired by the brand new season that we are entering <laughs> it feels very autumnal today so I thought I would do a kind of monochrome terracotta -y, orangey um, look and I'm kind of loving it so hope you enjoy but let's get right into it hi my loves so you guys know what the final look is going to be but I do not yet know so um, I don't know what I'm doing. I've got a bunch of makeup here, which is about to all go on the floor. And I'm just gonna try and wing it a little bit. I've got back into the habit of picking my skin at the moment. So any and all of the blemishes that you see are X clogged pores that I've been picking at. Um, I'm using the Bare Minerals Complexion Rescue Hydrating Foundation Stick. I don't know why I had to look at the bottom there because I know its name. But yeah, I've just been back into the habit of picking my skin and it's really, really bad and I need to stop doing it. Um, I think this time last year I probably made the vow to stop picking it and it worked really well for a bit. <laughs> and now I am doing it again. I've been trying to find like a good balance between not stripping my skin of its natural oils but also not allowing it to get clogged and it is a bit clogged at the moment or congested rather. Um, so it's really hard to kind of find a balance between those two things for my skin type because I do find that the less product I use on it sometimes the better but then it ultimately ends up after a few months of that kind of looking a little bit congested because I'm not doing the like daily exfoliation of it. But I'm totally feeling the autumn vibes this morning. I went and got my nails done today. I'm going to bring them up close for you guys. Um, they are by Priya again. I will link her Instagram down below. They're little great and frog inspired ones. And they're so cool. Look at this little kudu. Obviously, they are dark because, as I said, I'm feeling autumnal today. I've got some big news, actually. We have adopted a cat. Um, I can't believe I haven't told you guys yet. I don't know why I haven't put it on my Instagram. But I think it's because I'm kind of waiting for him to settle in a little bit and, like, come out of his shell. He spent a lot of time under the sofa <laughs> at the moment. So, obviously, we're trying to get him used to the dog. So part of the reason why I didn't immediately say when we'd adopted him. Obviously, it we didn't fully know if we were going to be able to keep him um, because of Mimi, who is our black Labrador. But she has been really good. He is still a little bit fearful of her, but I think he's getting braver by the day. So, But she's been great. She's not even... She kind of looks at him sometimes, but she's not even remotely interested in chasing after him or anything. So... Thank God for that. And we have all fallen in love with him as well. His name is Mikesh. We adopted him actually via a Facebook post and someone needed to rehome him because they were moving and they couldn't have animals at their new apartment. Um, and yes, he was owned by some Czech people, hence why he's called Mikesh. I'm sure any of you guys that are Czech will know that apparently that is a typical name for a cat based on an old fairy tale. Um, sorry about my accent if it's bad. Yeah, so he's called Mikesh, Mickey for short. He's about, he's just over one years old, he's black and white. And he is absolutely lovely. He is like the ideal cat. He's very cuddly, well, ideal cat for us. Um, all cats are great, but he is perfect for us. He's very snuggly, very affectionate, very calm, relaxed. He's really quite big for a cat. He's very, very long. <laughs> Um, and he's just very chill. He obviously gets a little bit play playful at kind of night time and bedtime. Um, so he is, you know, showing us his personality as well. But yeah, in general, he is super chill and super relaxed um, and has been wonderful with us since the day we got him. So he is just the loveliest cat in the world. It was my sister who actually wanted a cat, hence why we've got one. We've been thinking of adopting one for a while. Um, and then suddenly this Facebook post came up and whilst we were in Corfu, we met this gorgeous little black and white kitten. And then this opportunity came up to adopt Mikesh. And we just thought, maybe this is a sign that we should get a cat, basically. And yeah, all seems to be going well between him and Mimi. Slow progress, but yeah, they seem to be at a basic level, kind of happy to be in each other's presence. So that makes all the difference and he's been kind of coming out more and more and kind of hanging out 
in more open spaces around her which is great i realize i'm like teasing you guys and i haven't actually filmed him maybe i'll go and film him a bit later so i'm sure you will be seeing more of him soon so i think i'm gonna do something autumnal because i'm just that kind of bitch today i don't know i've got these two huda beauty palettes that i was sent and i kind of want to use one or both of them and i'm just trying to figure out what i want to do i think i'm going to go with this one which i actually did use the other day um this is the topaz obsessions palette yeah i kind of loved that monochrome look i did in my last makeup video with the bare minerals so i kind of want to do a similarly monochromey type thing today and i think my lipstick is going to go better with this palette i am i mean i hate to jinx it famous last words but i'm kind of excited about vlogtober this year i'm feeling like refreshed from daily vlogging because it's been ages and I'm feeling much more relaxed this year much more kind of into my routine I know what I'm doing there's less going on in life in general life as well we're gonna see how it goes because honestly those are my famous last words I'm feeling good about it it is gonna require a lot of organization on my part because the reason when I did it really well it was because I was going into the library every day and therefore I would like block out a certain amount of time to edit in the morning get out of the way then continue with my day now because I'm like my schedule changes day to day that is slightly tricky I think that's something that I struggled with last year without even really noticing I was struggling I'm obviously gonna have to work out when is gonna be the best time for me to edit and all that kind of stuff I'm gonna have to switch things up a little bit right so I'm gonna go in so I just covered the lid with this color in the middle here and I'm gonna go in with this like yellowy color please excuse my brushes they're all crazy dirty so yeah I am feeling pretty positive about vlogtober this year i know it won't be perfect gotta remember that i need to also think of some fun things to do like i kind of think sometimes is it weird when people think of fun things to vlog kind of because it does it become a little bit unnatural i don't know but at the same time i think it works so much better when people are doing fun things so as you can see i'm kind of taking that all the way around the eye kind of a bit of a grungy vibe kind of onto the cheekbone as well a little bit yeah if there's anything you guys would like me to just like to see me do in october then let me know um i'm so used to just sitting at my desk all day and i want to get out and about and do some things i say all this and I'll, it will be a month of me sitting at my desk but <laughs> you know it would be nice to have some variation in there um, obviously I'd love to be showing you house stuff, hopefully there will be something going on housewise at the time. Um, like I said, I think, I think in my last video, um, nothing's changed since then by the way, um, I would like to get some people in just to start transforming some of the basic bits of the house before we go in with the big build. Um, so maybe I'll kind of organise that for October so we can see a few a little bit of a transformation there because that might be quite nice okie doke i'm trying to think what i want to do yeah i think i'm gonna take um this eyeliner from urban decay it's like a kind of terracotta-y brown so it's gonna go really well and i'm gonna create a kind of base for a halo eye shape um and i'm gonna go in and blend that yeah, I feel like it's been... I also think I'm feeling ready for vlogging because it's been ages since I actually did much proper vlogging anyway. I've done some here and there. I'm going to go under the eye with it as well just to deepen some of that. Intensity. Okay, over the top of that, I'm going to press this colour. I am so into my reading at the moment, you guys. I am speeding through the books. I think it's because of my newfound talent for getting rid of books that I actually just don't want to read. So I kind of start them and I'm like, nope. And it's made a huge difference because now I'm kind of only reading books that hold some interest or value for me. You could obviously add some sparkle into the centre of the eye, but I think I want to keep mine like fully matte and grungy for now. I think this eye is like loads redder than the other eye. Oops. I'm also, I keep forgetting actually, I'm finally finishing my sleeve this week. So I'm going to do an updated tattoos video. Probably not piercings because that would be a heck of a long video these days. But 
if you are interested and you want me to cover anything specifically in that video please let me know in the comments and I will do so okay guys so I'm not sure those eyes are totally the same but that is the beauty of this kind of makeup I am not gonna sit here and try and get them exactly the same I'm gonna take this Bare Minerals One Fine Line liner and go right next to the lash line this is in the brownie colour I can't remember straight spice and I'm gonna take like a kind of angled brush like this one um, and it's kind of a thick one though and take this brownie colour in the bottom corner and go over the top and kind of blend it okie doke that is the basics done. I'm gonna pop some mascara on and then I think we're gonna do lashes today because why not? Um, I like grungy makeup without lashes but sometimes I do like it with as well. I actually scratch that. <laughs> I kind of like it as it is. I've been using this Charlotte Tilbury Legendary Lashes for months and it's still going strong as you can see. We're kind of going to clump them up a little bit. Okay, next thing we're going to do some more skin and then come back to brows and lips. Um, I don't have a specific order I do my makeup in um, always. Like, I'm not beholden to one particular order and I don't know if that's weird. Is that weird? It's like when I read that thing about that couple that doesn't have a particular side of the bed and they change every night. Now that was truly crazy to me, but I don't know if my non-makeup order is a similar type of thing. Suddenly we've got bright lights, the sun's come out, I'm such a southerner again. When I was in Edinburgh I would not be shivering unless it was like genuinely midwinter kind of cold, but it's like the tiniest bit chilly outside today and when I was going to get my nails done I was shivering like a baby which means I'm officially declimatized to northern weather and I'm back to being a southern fairy. That's why I'm wearing a jumper just to film this video because I was chilly before. I'm using my favorite bronzer by the way you guys, my Bare Minerals. All of the face color and warmth. I just love it too much. I used a different one the other day and I just, it wasn't the same, I looked orange. I'm definitely already losing my face tan as well from my holidays. I've got a little bit of body tan left. I'll probably keep that for a couple of months still. Um, not as good as it was, obviously. But I do kind of keep some color for a few months after summer, but the face tan is already leaving me. I'm gonna use a little bit of this new Bare Minerals Bounce and Blur in Coral Cloud. Um, it's a crazy formula, which is like cream to powder. It's kind of like those foundations that how would you describe them I've completely lost all my words but there's like bouncy foundations um but apparently it's made with moss or something and that's what gives it some of its texture which is craziness I love 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 the texture of these and I think they look so nice on I might show you guys them a little bit better in a different video okay now we've done skin I'm gonna go in with my soap brows Right, we're gonna kind of let the brows settle and do lips. Um, have I shown you this before? I'm almost positive I have. Um, I'm gonna use the Fenty Beauty lipstick in Freckle Fiesta again. I think I've used this in a video before, but yeah, I think it's gonna suit this look and that give a nice monochrome look. Still waiting for the brows to a little bit, so I'm going to use my Freck to get a new one, which I don't feel like the old one lasted quite long enough, considering how expensive it is. But I am addicted. Right, my camera battery is definitely going to die before I can finish this video, and it's going to be highly annoying. But I am going to take um, this Hourglass Arch Brow Micro Sculpting Pencil in Ash and just fill in a little bit at the ends. And that is it. I hope that you like this look. Um, I'm just gonna zoom out a little bit. Feeling very autumnal. Um, yeah, that is everything. Hope you guys like this look. Um, I will see you again very soon. 
for some styling videos, I think. I don't know what order my video is going to come to you in, but hopefully we'll get some fashion videos soon. But yeah, thank you guys for watching and I will see you again very soon. Bye. What's this? What's this? Am I the most gorgeous kid in the world? He's enormous, can you see? Right, we're going. We're leaving. Say goodbye. <laughs> what are you doing?